Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Way of Life podcast. I'm your host, Gus Holland. Um, today, I'm going to be answering some questions about how to get the perfect pump. This question was submitted um, by an anonymous listener. Uh, he saw the podcast on TikTok. He called the Google voice number where you can leave a voicemail, and he asked a couple questions. Um the first one was actually pertaining to creatine. Um, creatine, we covered co- like pretty in depth in the last episode, but he was just asking what the best creatine is. Um, and I would say really any creatine monohydrate that is 100% creatine monohydrate. Um, creatine is unflavored and you can get it for like 30 servings for 15 to $20. Um, it doesn't matter what brand it is. Um, so with that being said, um, how to get the perfect pump. <clears throat> yeah, there's a couple ways I can go about this, but to address it, um, I'm going to address it first without speaking about supplements. Um, just like a natural plain pump. And, um, there's a couple different reasons you might want to pump. It's, um, either normally it's, you're trying to impress somebody or you're trying to take some pictures. Um, other than that, sometimes it's good to just maybe feeling like down in the dumps. So you just go instead of skipping the gym or taking a rest day, you just do like a 30 minute pump workout that's going to help you burn calories, but it's probably going to boost your ego a little bit or lift your spirits. Maybe hopefully you're going to accomplish the best pump. I would say if you're well rested, fully hydrated and you do about 20 to 30 minutes, it can be as much as 40. Um, kind of depends what you're going to do afterward. If you're just going to a party and you're trying to have like your arms look, look good or something, um, then you can accomplish that in like 20 minutes. If you're trying to do like a full body pump, then that might be closer to 40, 40 minutes. Uh, but overall you're going to do lightweight, whatever is light for you. Um, and a higher rep range. So you're going to do like 12 to 15 reps of each exercise. Um, normally when people do pump workout, they're trying to pump up their upper body because, um, that's just, that's just how it is. A lot of guys are trying to get big arms, you know, or, or filling a full chest, you know, you can go and for example, if you're just going to knock out a pump, you know, arm pump workout, um, like I said, that's like 15, 20 minutes. I always like say warm up with at least like, um, I don't know, five minutes of cardio. If it's just like this light pump workout, you don't really need to do any cardio. Um, but I like to do, uh, five minutes of like a high resistance biking, bicycling or high res high resistance, um, or high elevation treadmill with a slow speed. Um, but regardless, like you're going to want to warm up a little bit, obviously just so you don't hurt yourself. But then, um, if you're just trying to pump up arms, you can do just as an example, I'm going to just throw some stuff out there. Um, 12 to 15, three sets of 12 to 15 of, um, maybe like an easy bar, easy bar, uh, bicep curl. Right. And um, then, and like in between each set, I would say anywhere from just like no more of a break than 10 to 45 seconds, just basically get your, make sure you're not lightheaded, you know, and you're, you're breathing good and everything. And then do the next set. Uh, you're going to do about three sets of that. Also just, this is an example, but you'll do three sets of that. 
then you can uh, you can do alternating bicep curls with a dumbbell. You know, uh, you know one one rep on one arm, one on the other, two on you know. Bad explanation, but ba- basically, you're just gonna want to blast your arms. So you can do the easy easy bar curls, then you can do alternating curls, then you can do hammer curls. Uh, if you're at like a place that's more of a commercial gym and maybe they don't have as great of access to dumbbells or um, the easy bar or whatever, they might have like a stationary, like kind of like a preacher curl set up. And um, you can just sit there and you can do um, whatever the three sets of 15 on the lightweight with both arms. And then even though it's a double, a double arm setup most of the time, you can either leave the weight how it is, or you can even lower the weight even more and switch to a single arm and then just blast that arm, do one set with the right arm, then switch and one set with the left arm, go back and forth. Um, you don't want to overdo it because you're going to end up, uh, too, too pumped basically, or, or swollen where you feel like you can't straighten your arm out. Um, so, and that's, I mean, obviously that's just for your bicep, but if you're, um, I would say about three, three exercises will do, and then you're probably going to want to go hit triceps or you can do triceps first. It doesn't really matter. Um, do another three exercises on tricep, you know, um, you, you can do uh skull crushers where you lay down with the, uh, I like to use an easy bar, um, some people grab a dumbbell, but I prefer an easy bar. And you lay down and you literally just, you're only moving at your elbow. And uh, you bring it to your forehead. And it's once again, this is a lightweight, so it's safe to do. And if you ever feel like your arm's going to give out or your shoulder or something like that, you can just just drop it behind you so it falls behind, doesn't hit you in the head. Um, or you can always just rest it on your chest. But um, you're going to hinge at the elbow, and you're just bringing it down to your forehead, um, and then pushing it up, and then bringing it down, pushing it up, bringing it up, bring, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that is a skull crusher. So I like to do skull crushers, and then maybe like a tricep extension with the, uh, the rope uh, attachment. Uh, you can do uh, above head tricep extension. You can do uh, tricep kickbacks where you you hold a dumbbell and you kind of you're lean you're leaning over on a uh, like a flat bench and you're just once again hinging at the elbow and pushing that weight back and just flexing. The, m- the main thing with this is lightweight to get the blood flow pumping and you're flexing. You're really like squeeze at the end, squeeze at the end, and um, and that'll get you. Uh, that's like a good arm pump. And then you can hit your, uh, your delts a little bit. Just do maybe two sets of two sets of 12 front raises and then side raises. And then, um, you could do some rows. Like it just, uh, it depends on like how much of your arm you're trying to pump up, how much of your, your entire body you're trying to pump up. Um, so that's like a good example for, just blasting your arms and a little bit of your shoulders. Um, if you're doing a full body, I would just do like two exercises of each, you know, then you're just trying to, I mean, sorry, two exercises per body part. Um, cause you're just trying to, at that point, you're just trying to get a more athletic look. You're not trying to like focus on one body part. So I would do like some form of chest press, for your chest and then some dumbbell flies. Uh, you can alternate, you can do, if you have the, uh, the capability in the gym, like the machines are open or the stations, whatever, but you, you can do the chest press. You can do one set of that, have the dumbbells right next to you, get the dumbbells, do one set of that, and then do the second set of both and the third set of both. And your chest is going to be like super full. And, um, yeah, so that's normally what I do. Like if I'm having, I I do like a pump day, um, uh, more for um, 
like if I'm just not having a good day, like I'm maybe I'm at the end of the week and I'm just like feeling too exhausted or mentally drained or whatever to like do a full workout. And I'm like, well, I, I'm not going to skip the gym, but I'm going to go and just like get a good chest pump. Just so I feel like the man, (laughs) uh, but you're going to do, uh, that's generally the concept for, um, achieving the best pump two to 15 reps. I would say three, three to four sets, um, of each exercise. And then you're going to want to do, I would say two to three exercises per body, body group that you want to target. Um, from there, we're going to go into talking about what, um, supplements are going to be best to help with the pump. Um, they, these are not necessary, but if you're, and you're, if you, but if you're already like lean and you're wanting your veins to really pop, um, then I would suggest doing like a, um, different brands call it different things, but it's basically like a, a pump matrix. Uh, so it'll be a combination of ingredients that are sold as a pumping supplement. Um, <clears throat> BSN is, and I'm not, I'm just listing this as an example. I'm not saying that that's the best product or anything. I'm, I'm not sponsored. Um, I'm just throwing it out there, but for, as an example of a pump product, there's BSN's, um, no explode and it's N O hyphen explode. And so the N O stands for nitric oxide. So, um, raising your nitric ox, excuse me, raising your nitric oxide levels are, is going to create vasodilation. Um, so what that means is that your, uh, Golly, sorry, your cardiovascular system, primarily the veins, actually uh, relax. And so they might, it's hard to show on the camera, but they're, we're saying like that, and they're like that. You take the pump supplement and they they open up, allowing more blood flow through, um, therefore giving you a more veiny, uh, vascular look. It also, I mean, it's it's good even if you're not lean because it brings more blood and more oxygen uh, to the muscles. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's really it. But um, the main thing is is vasodilation. So, ca- stay away from caffeine if you're trying to achieve this look, or even if you're just trying to get a pump to improve, uh, impress a girl like caffeine is going to make you more anxious and, and nervous and stuff. Even if you're tired, just rock with the tired vibe. It might actually keep you calm a little bit. Um, but sorry, I got off topic, but, <laughs> um, there are a couple, um, specific supplements that you want within a pump matrix. Um, the clinical dose is, um, or most efficient dose is four grams of L citrulline and two grams of arginine nitrate. Um, both of these obviously is going to make six grams. Um, I think the, the best dosage was anywhere to have the two of those, um, combined, having six to eight grams in your body. Um, but L-citrulline is um, going to boost your nitric oxide production in your body. Um, and then L-arginine is going to be converted in the body into a chemical called called nitric oxide. And so, um, like I said before, nitric oxide is what causes the blood vessels to open and improve blood flow. <clears throat> Um, 
those are the two main things. Uh, like I said, citrulline, arginine. The other one is beta alanine. Um, that is a good, it's not necessary in, in your supplement, but, and, and if you, if you've ever had a pre-workout and you kind of get that tingly kind of itchy or tickly weird feeling, um, then that is from the beta alanine. Um, so you might, if you don't like that feeling, you might want to stay away from products with beta alanine in it. Um, I personally don't get those tingles or weird feelings. So beta alanine doesn't really cause that, that problem in me or that, or that feeling. It's not, it's not necessarily a problem. Um, if that does happen to you, don't worry. It's just, it's just a sensation. It's not going to like do any harm to you, uh, unless you take like a crazy amount of beta alanine. Um, beta alanine is a non-essential amino acid and it's produced naturally in the body. Um, and it, it aids in the production of carnosine. Um, that's a product that plays a role in muscular endurance for high intensity exercise. So it's good to have in your system as long as it's it's allowed, um, in your sport or activity or whatever, but it's good to have in your system if you're doing, um, like hit workouts, high intensity, high intensity interval training, sorry. Um, just like quick and explosive movement, um, power cleans, uh, sprints, stuff like that. Um, uh, the other, um, supplement that can be within these matrix is called, I pr- pronounce it betaine. Um, it's B E T A I N E. Um, the full name is betaine anhydrous. Um, there is also, um, I guess, a more scientific name for it, and I'm not quite sure how to say it. The abbreviation is TMG. It's tri- tri- oh, trimethylglycine. Um, anyways, this is a substance, substance that is made in your body as well, but um, it's involved in liver function, cellular, cellular reproduction, and helping to make carnitine. Um, it also helps your, your body metabolize, um, an amino acid called homocysteine. Uh, the FDA has approved betaine to treat genetic conditions, uh, where people create too much homo homocysteine, uh, and it, and it builds up in their, in their body. um, those are the main things I've seen people, I've seen companies, um, incorporate caffeine into their workout. I mean, into their pump supplement. And this is, that's actually going to constrict your, it's, it's going to work against your pump. So although it, it kind of like, it might raise your heart rate, um, and kind of make you feel less tired it's still constrict it's a it's a vasoconstrictor so caffeine is is a great supplement to have and i love it and most people i know love it but as far as when it comes to getting a pump i would stay away from it um the that really i mean that really covers it i mean there's a lot of Things that people will add to um, pump supplements or other supplements, uh, in fact. But if you ever just be real careful, um, if you're uh, sorry, if you're looking at a, at a product and they have some sort of like patented whatever they'll they'll call it like mega power matrix and it lists like all these ingredients within it like 20 ingredients and then it'll say 7000 milligrams and you're like whoa that's 7 grams of um you know 
you're you're confusing it with that it's seven seven grams or seven thousand milligrams of the essential things that you need for a good pump, but lots of times companies will do that so they can they can hide their formula. Um, so it it can be good or or bad because that's good for the company to protect you know how they make that product and it might be a really good product, but it's also a way for them to hide. Like if you're looking for something with at least four grams of l citrulline and at at least two grams of um, arginine, then that, that kind of hides that from you. So you might think, well, it's at least, it's probably at least got four grams of this and two grams of this. And the rest is, those other 18 ingredients are sharing a, um, a gram or a thousand milligrams. Um, and that's a lot of the times not the case. So you, that's a good way for companies to kind of like skimp on product and say, Oh, well it's actually one gram of L citrulline, one gram of arginine and the other four, five grams is just added bullshit, you know, um, for lack of a better term. I mean, it's, it still might help you in some way, but it's not, you're not achieving, achieving like the optimum dosage basically. Um, if you're not looking to spend money on a specific pump form, uh, product, you can buy L citrulline and L arginine by itself. And then all you got to do is just take the corresponding values, like try and get four grams of citrulline, two grams of arginine, try that out, make sure you consume lots of water because you want to stay hydrated um, and just be safe in the gym, you know, but always like test what works for you, you know, Um, same with the beta alanine. I mean, it's, it's not, none of this is necessary, so you don't, it's okay to kind of baby step into it basically like try a little, if you've never had beta alanine, try a little bit. Uh, and if you start getting all the itchy tingles and stuff like that, and you don't like that, then now, you know, don't take that. Um, other than that, I want to give, he didn't give his name, but I want to give a big shout out, um, to the guy that saw the TikTok video, uh, promoting the, the phone number and, um, yeah, I just want to I want to say thanks for submitting some questions. Um All right, guys. Uh thank you so much again for another awesome episode or for listening. <laughs> I guess for listening to another awesome episode, but y'all have made this truly amazing. Um If it weren't for the support of y'all, um I don't know. It, it's just, I would keep going just cause I'm stubborn, but it's freaking amazing. Um, been getting a lot of comments, uh, voicemails on the phone number and ratings and stuff. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever at the moment, <clears throat> I'm pr- at the time, to- at the moment, I'm trying to, um, primarily cover supplements. So if you, if you have any supplement questions or any questions about the podcast, um, the number to call is three, four, six, two, zero, zero, seven, one, six, eight. So that's three, four, six, two hundred, seven, one, six, eight. Um, it's just going to go straight to voicemail and just leave whatever question you want. Uh, you don't have to leave your name. I don't need any of your personal information. Um, so it can be anonymous or not. If you want your name mentioned in the podcast, cause you submitted an awesome question, that's cool, but make sure and put that in the message. Um, other than that, I appreciate it. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at um, Way of Life Podcast. Um, also, ratings and reviews really help. And the best way to help is actually to spread the word. Send this to any of your friends, family, or whatever that um, you think would enjoy this. All right. Well, um, thanks once again. Love y'all. Bye.